And this news reporter Jasmine Allen went to the town of Newport to see how they were recovering from the mudslide along Route 28. The storm damage started Thursday night with obviously the flash flooding. Um, it's pretty drastic and widespread. Some of the riverbeds moved two to three hundred yards over. They're certainly compromising homes. Homes like this one were partially swept away in last week's storm. All the tributaries from Newport to West Canada flooded and caused damage to businesses, properties, and major roadways. Mayor Henning says the village, town, county, and state highway departments have been very responsive and helpful. They've brought many crews in, um, including the National Guard. Um, they have extra business owners who have heavy equipment and dump trucks, you know, trying anything and everything they can to get these roads open and, and more importantly, to get them safe to travel on. With winter underway, repairing all of the damage could take longer than expected. Mayor Hennings advises motorists to abide by the road signs so that crews can complete these projects as soon as possible. She also urges residents to document anything lost or damaged in the storm. Businesses are giving, you know, their time and equipment, but it's really important to bill for that um, or to document what that would cost um, and what that is costing so that we get the appropriate funding back to this area. Reporting in Newport, Jasmine Allen, Eyewitness News.